Hey Aqua, welcome back to the channel. Thank you everyone for tuning in. It does mean a lot that you're here with me. Today we'll be looking at what's coming up for you for this weekend. So I'll be using a couple of decks. It is intended for Aqua, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're dealing with an Aquarian, this reading can be helpful for you. Is that centered? I think so. Um, okay, so we're going to look at what the current energy is for you. We're going to crown the reading as well with another three cards. So let's see what's going down here for you, Aquarius. Um, if you like this video, drop a like, subscribe, sign up to membership um, for more content and extended vids. Otherwise, let's see. Aquarius. Okay, straight away what's coming to mind is that you are purposely putting someone in your future. Meaning, you're thinking to yourself, you want something, but not right now. It's in the future, but not right now. Or, I want to hook up with this person, not right now. I want to tell them something, but not right now. You are leaving things to the future. Okay, you are, feel, you are leaving this relationship or this connection to the future or you're either, maybe you're leaving it to fate. Okay, you're leaving it to fate to decide the outcome of this. I feel like you are delaying something or putting it off. You've got aces here. One from the past, one from the future, I sense. What's crowning your reading? Okay, you're coming up three of swords. The Empress. All right, you're dealing with some things, I think, and that's preventing you from doing it, taking any action right now. Probably, I think you're on the right track, to be honest. If you're in that three, swords, three of swords kind of energy, I totally get why you're saying to yourself, not right now. There's other stuff you want to do. There's other relationships you want to have. There's other things you need to work on before you have this option. But what I get is like the option's going to be there again in the future and you know it. And that's why you're like, yeah, it'll be there. I'll be fine. I'll revisit it when I'm ready. Um, okay, so I'm picking up that whatever option this is, it's like a person's going to wait for you. They might even tell you this. Um, it may be reversed. It may be this person who's like putting you like... They're like, I don't want this, not right now. Um, so I, I sort of get those words that are sort of coming to me. I feel like they mean something. So it's almost like they want you, but not a relationship. They want this, but not that, not the other. So it's hard to pick up whose energy this is. It could be both of you. It's like one time you're ready and then they're not, and then the next time they're ready and you're not. So it's, maybe that's why it's confusing. Because it just, it changes so frequently. This could also be if you're, if you've been back and forth with this person, like you've hooked up with them, you guys don't have a relationship, but maybe, you know, you, you, you meet up together, you guys have a bit of a play and then you move on and then you're, missing each other again and the cycle just re re uh, continues and repeats itself um but i do feel like you need to trust with that wheel of fortune i think you need to trust uh, the timing of the universe um so i feel like i want to say not right now but it's in your future um especially like you know when we see these aces it's like yeah not right now not at this very moment but in the future it's almost destined to happen with the empress you'll re-attract it i feel you'll re-attract this person this opportunity can't have the same moment twice but i feel like you'll you'll come close to it and then you'll truly be fulfilled with that nine of pentacles but that three of swords energy is telling me you're not in the right mind space or you're both not ready to grow whatever this is that you're growing. I also feel like there's this person has done something here. 
you've done something to them. There's been pain and hurt that's been inflicted. And a lot of it I get is from ego and from jealousy. Um, you feel like you could have a forever with this person. You could see, you can see that future with them. Um, but whether you do it or not, Again, I feel like it's going to come in the distant future rather than anytime soon. So that's that's sort of, you're sort of leaving it. You've got two marriage cards. So I feel like for a lot of you, this person is the one you're going to end up marrying in the future. They're going to propose. You're going to propose. You guys are going to talk about that. It's very likely you could share that home together. Mm. But I feel like there's something you need to work on and it's about moderation. Um... To help grow this somehow and I feel like the knight of pentacles is telling me you need to slow down or stop something um, because if you want it in your future it's like you need to stop now very odd we've got Taurus, Sag and Gem that's come up Gemini energy is telling me what is it telling me? Um, this this communication. I do feel like there's something, some sort of communication coming up with not right now. I'm too hurt. I'm too this. I'm too that. Maybe in the future. Let's see how it goes. So like someone is purposely stalling or delaying. But you, it's almost like you have such a certain feeling that this isn't the end. You have such a certain feeling that something could come of this uh, in the future. It seems you're just you're right about it. I feel like there's intuition coming into play here. Um, and I feel like they've got two angels, two aces. So I actually have a feeling that there could be multiple opportunities, more than one, to get back together or to find each other at a time in your lives when you're both emotionally available. Um, or have an opportunity to get married or remarried or settle down or have the life that you pictured with them and that's because fate is on your side and that's because i feel like you guys are each other's destiny otherwise why else would you have so many opportunities why else would the fates be so kind so as to give you so much attempts at moving this thing forward but like i said maybe you just have to trust the process that it's, the not, it's probably not the best step right now, but that doesn't mean that that can't change in the future. So um, I'll leave it there, Aqua. Thank you again, everyone, so, so much for watching. It does mean a lot. I hope to be in touch again very soon. So drop a like, share, subscribe. Um, it all means a lot. So thank you again, Aqua, and bye for now.